Playing cops and robbers, me skin the signs. All who chance to prosper shall go blind. Oh, Baxter, you are my little gentleman. I'll take you to foggy London town because you are what my little gentleman. This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. The intense scene you just witnessed consisted of a series of contingent events culminating in the use of a burrito to obstruct the view and control of a nearby driver. Aside from the legal, moral, and environmental problems it poses, it is a simple projectile motion problem. The question is, how hard did Will Ferrell actually throw the burrito? When I talk like this, I fog up the lens. <laughs> First thing you need to do is you need to draw the situation. You need to now we need to determine what your frame of reference is going to be. We're going to choose one of the, the one of the directions to be this direction because the burrito is thrown in this direction. So since this is a horizontal type of direction, I would like to call this direction X. Okay? So this direction is X. Easy way that we're familiar with is to make the up direction Y. Now what you can do is you can put pluses here as well to let everyone know that these are the positive directions. Okay? So when we're doing our calculations with all the vectors involved, uh, you'll be able to keep track of which way is positive and which way is negative. Now you might say to yourself, well, I don't need that. <laughs> well, and you might, uh, you might get it right without using your frame of reference. But uh, a day will come when um, there will be a complicated problem and you'll get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, and that's really going to really gonna suck. Are there any forces and in what directions are those forces uh, acting? Okay, We know that force equals mass times acceleration. That means anytime a force is applied to a mass that mass will accelerate. It will change its velocity. Okay? Now, we also know that the car is traveling out of the board here, so that this, this fat arrow is telling you that the car is moving toward you, and so is the motorcycle. Now, the two of them are traveling at approximately the same speed. Th this direction is perpendicular to the motion of the burrito, which is thrown at pretty much a horizontal. So there are two main forces that will be acting on the burrito when it is thrown through the air. Two. Okay? One of those forces is gravity. But quite often we like to just write down the acceleration which is caused by gravity. Okay? We use that as a lowercase g. And it's a vector, so we draw a little arrow on top. And it's a vector, so it has a magnitude and it has a direction. The direction of gravity is toward the center of the Earth, down in this case. Now, according to our frame of reference, y is a vertical direction. Positive y is this direction, and negative y must be that direction. So g is a negative number, and it goes in negative y. And g is approximately... 9.8 meters per second squared. So these units, meters per second squared, sorry, are units of acceleration. All right? And acceleration is happening in this direction. So when the burrito is thrown, the burrito falls a little, okay? Ever so slightly. All right. Now the other direction, now we can put uh, put a little y here just to say that it's in the y direction. The are there any forces in the x direction? That's a good question. 
Well, realistically speaking, when you throw the burrito, the wind between these two vehicles is going to, going to cause some friction. with the burrito. So the burrito is not just going to travel effortlessly through the air. But for the purposes of projectile motion problems, what we often do is we assume that there is no force acting uh, in the horizontal direction, meaning this is a dragless situation with a uniform gravity. Okay, So the only force acting on the burrito is the force of gravity which causes the burrito to accelerate in the negative y direction at minus 9.8 meters per second squared or you could, al you could also say 9.8 meters per second squared in the negative y direction we just like to write that um, as a negative number a closer look at the burrito replay will help us get more data on this situation which is our next step this burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Let's see that in an instant replay. Watch the burrito as it's thrown. Will Ferrell does not throw the burrito up into the air. No, he throws the burrito straight outward. And the burrito looks like it falls ever so slightly, but it only travels such a short distance. The other thing too, and you can stop the video and uh, replay it if you want, uh, it takes about 0 .40 seconds for the burrito to hit Jack Black after it leaves its fingers, which leads us to step three. So we have the following data. The acceleration in the x direction is zero. We've determined that. The acceleration in the y direction due to gravity is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, or 9.8 meters per second squared down. The time it takes for the burrito to reach Jack is 0 0.40 seconds, and the distance between them in the x direction is about 0 0.80 meters. This means that the burrito travels this far in 0.4 seconds, which means it travels at an average velocity of 2 meters per second in the x direction. The initial velocity in the y direction of the burrito is zero, because Will does not throw it up or down, but only straight out. We can determine the final velocity in the y direction after 0.4 seconds. 